and the plot is even thicker yet but and there's more i would like to add to this part of the uh story but uh, i'm not sure if that day is ever going to come um but it might if things all work out like i need them to then yes that day will come but um one day i was pulling my trailer in sioux city going to a job that i was going to bid on or i was already i already got the job it was caulking a driveway um and i had seen this red car seemed to be following me right a woman in it like she seen me and then i seen her turn around i was convinced she was following me so as i'm turning the left across traffic i didn't see this fucking motorcycle coming the op- coming my way in the lane i was about to cross cuz i'm i'm fucking I'm preoccupied with this fucking red car that I keep seeing with this woman in it, right? And I barely hit the guy, like, just on the side of his bike and his leg or whatever. I was like, oh, shit. He didn't fall down or nothing. He just, like, slowed down and stopped. I'm like, fuck. Then that same fucking red car pulls up. Or no. <clears throat> I, I, The guy, we drove into a bank parking lot or whatever by Floyd Boulevard. Or no. Uh, what? It's about four blocks west of Floyd Boulevard on, like, where Walmart is on Floyd. If you go west from there, there's, like, a a bank. I think it was a bank. So we pull in there. That same motherfucking red car pulls up. She says, I'm a nurse. Let me see your leg. And I'm, like, trying to talk. She's like, you be quiet. You hit him. I hit him because of you. Because you're fucking following me around. What are you following? But I didn't say that. I'm like, you know, like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, you know? It's, it's crazy, though. This red car that's following me, she comes to the scene, and she's a nurse, and she's helping him, right? Hmm. And, you know, my exes and all this shit, their families were nurses. My mother was murdered in the hospital. Listen, okay? Now, this job I was going to, right? No shit. Now listen, this job I was going to, I think I had already got the bid, I don't remember. But I know when I I showed up, there was like four or five people on the porch talking, older people, right? And one of them mentioned that they had gone to like a a banquet or like a, a, a gathering of some kind where there was food. Might have been at a senior center or something, right? I think it was a senior center. I can't remember. <clears throat> but he was saying Warren Buffett was there and he talked to him. This is the people that contacted me about caulking their driveway, right? Well, as I'm talking to them, either initially, the first time I was bit, like, at some point I was there and they were there. The, the, the guy that I know that's U.S. House of Representatives now that I do work for him now and then, he was running. This is like... This is like, uh, this is years ago. This is probably like at least four or five years ago. Six years ago, maybe. Maybe longer. I don't know. I could actually check my records and find out how how long ago it was. But he was campaigning for House of Representatives at that time. It was a long time ago. Now he won. But he showed up to their yard and was talking about his, his stuff and, you know, campaigning and handing them cards. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take one. I was like, hey, you wouldn't happen to need any work done, right? It's kind of weird how I met him at the place where they were talking about they just had a dinner with Warren Buffett, right? And and the same day that I hit this guy on a bike, holy shit, dude, you know what I mean? Because this nurse is following me, and I'm distracted by her, and then she shows up and starts giving him aid. All this happened within, like, two hours, the shit was crazy, right? Just saying. <clears throat>